One, two, three, we're live! Let me hear it! Let me hear it! New Life Live! Come on, give it to me! Give it to me! Who's happy to be in the house? Who loves Jesus? What you think of Jesus? All right, I need y'all to do that like a choir this time, okay? Who loves Jesus? Love Jesus? What you think of Jesus? Jesus. Who loves Jesus? Jesus? What you think of Jesus? Jesus. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. Fellas, uh huh, uh huh. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. Ladies. Oh, that was weird. Come on, man. All right. I need y'all. I need, I need a little bit of sound up in here this time. Okay, y'all got y'all to go, yeah. Can y'all do that for me? All right. Who loves Jesus? Jesus? What you think of Jesus? Jesus. Who loves Jesus? Jesus? What you think of Jesus? Jesus. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. Men. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. I'm a Christ kid. Ladies. Yeah. There you go. Now I want to I want to know how y'all feel about Jesus this morning. Okay. okay. Do you love him? Yes. Yeah. 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 Now I want y'all to do it in your singing voice. Yeah. Do you love him? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Do you love him? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I love him, 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 his name is Jesus, 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 his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. It's 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. We got the Lord up in here. Amen. We want to hear. Elder Vincent's going to be ministering to to the church today, yes, and is. I'm going to have to de- decrease yes. as he in in increase. Yes. But before he in in increase, we're going to have. If you can walk your mom up here, and you can take your mask off as you come, so that she's going to pray. She's going to pray before we start the service. Okay. They need, they need the key to get in the back. Oh, here comes my beautiful wife to get the key to go in the back. She's not even going to come on the screen. Guys, y'all should see how pretty she is. And she won't come on the screen. She, she is here. She here. Push her. Okay. And we need the young lady to come up to be in here to help Vincent out here. His Lauren. Yeah, yeah, let's get Lauren, let's get Lauren back up in here. That ain't right. They're just taking all the kids to the back. Who's behind me? Oh, okay. We want you to go ahead and pray. Pray hard. Pray hard. You want them. The Heavenly Father, family. we come before you as long as we know how. Lord, we thank you for your service today. We pray that someone will be blessed by the word today. Order Elder Vincent's mouth, dear God, that someone will be able to take this with them on their life journey, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for being an awesome God. We thank you for being a wonderful God today, Lord. We just praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for that beautiful prayer. But unfortunately, Vincent, it looks like all the youth that ran up on you. They went to the back. So you no, you gonna have to preach to us old folk. Can can you can you handle that, Vincent? All right, we're gonna give over the service today to Elder Vincent Carson. 
He's got a word for us. God bless you. Listen, God bless you, Elder V. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Just thank the Lord for this opportunity of being here once again with you all. I just thank God for his goodness and his mercy. I just thank him for just keeping us. And as we're about to end this month and just thinking about all the things that God's going to be doing for us in the upcoming months as well, we just thank him for just you all just for coming in and being, joining us today. Today's message is simply titled, Just a Little. And we're coming from John chapter 6, verse 1 through 12. And our key verse is going to be John 6 and 11. And it reads, Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. And once again, the title is Just a Little. And let us go before, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father God, we just thank you, Lord God. Father God, for we know that you are big, Lord God. Father God, we know that you're able to answer all our prayer needs and help us in all the, the um, dire um, distress that we have, Lord God. Father God, we just thank you just for being a prayer answering God. Bless your word today, Lord God. And Father God, we just thank you. Move by your spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So when we look at this, sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far side of the Sea of Galilee. That there's the Sea of Tiberias. And a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs. And he performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went by a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him. For he already had in mind what he was going to do. Isn't that something? God already knows what he's going to do in our lives. You know, he already knows. Philip answered him, It would take more than a half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up, Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far would that go among so many? Jesus said, had the people sit down, there was plenty of grass in that place, and they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, Gather the pieces that are left over, let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with pieces of the five barley loaves left over by those who had eaten. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is a prophet who is to come into this world. Jesus, knowing what they were intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to the mountain by himself. So we have a little boy in this story. And if I could have a young person come up, a little girl... Yes. And so all he had, all she had was just her lunch. She just had her lunch. And everyone looking around, Jesus did not want the people to leave. It was about 5,000 men. He didn't want them to leave because it was a long trip. God knew that the people, if they try to walk home back to their houses to eat, then they would surely starve. And another thing is, what happened is, when you look at the people, one of the things that stand out to me is that they looked for someone to bring some food. And what did you have? A young person. It was the only one that had anything. Just a little person had food. And surely, when the person gave them the food, the lunch that their mom probably made for them. Did your mom make this lunch for you? Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, after we made your lunch for you, your lunch was given to you. They took the lunch and looked at it. And was like, look, you see that? Is that enough for everybody out here? But is it going to be enough for everybody here? Huh? You think it will? So, they said, God, 
We don't have a McDonald's. We don't have McDonald's or anything. Where did you can go? We don't have a quick trip. We don't have anything. All we got is this lunch that this young lady gave me. So what are we going to do? Okay, what we need to do? Okay, let's see. We got to we gotta thank you for your lunch. You might give it back. We're going to bless it. <laughs> and so what they did was, I need you to stand with my bless. Give thanks. Lord, thank you for this food. We just bless your people with it. Amen. Okay, now here, now hold on, hold on. We're not done. And so then you have to go and pass out the fish to everybody. Make sure everybody get a fish. Okay? And then whatever's left over, bring it back. <laughs> Just one fish. Yeah, you get too many fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> one fish. Yeah, one fish. But isn't that amazing? Yes. Jesus gave thanks. The little bit that someone had, that little bit became much in the hands of God. Yes. And that's what he plans on doing in each of our lives. Miss Lauren, you're not little anymore. You're doing a good job. Yes. You're big, just like the song said. It's going to be big. You're being big. Make sure they're not trying to take extras. <laughs> God is watching. <laughs> Someone came on the screen. Go ahead, keep going. Okay. All right, we got a lady over here. She's hungry. Yeah, make sure she gets a fish. Okay. How many people are telling her thank you? Did they all tell you thank you? Here it is. You want to share your little lunch with them. And then they want to act like that. Amen. Okay. One of the things that I've been doing here lately, I know you all heard of beekeepers, but somebody told me a long time ago, you can help me with this. Someone told me a long time ago, Oh, okay. Someone told me a long time ago that if you really want to think that you're just small and insignificant, you never went to sleep with a mosquito in the room. And so you know what I've been doing? You know, you heard of beekeepers? Well, I became a mosquito keeper. What? It's a hobby. It keeps me busy during a pandemic. And so I have some mosquitoes in here that are very hungry. So what I've got to do, and don't worry, I'm professional. It doesn't hurt, you know, said I'm doing good. Yeah, oh, don't mind the Band-Aids. <laughs> you, you okay? What? Don't mind the Band-Aids. But the mosquito is so little, but yet it does so much damage. And, but that's how we are. The little bit, no matter how big you see the mosquito, it attacked me, but it's okay, I'm safe now. I got taken care of. But when we look at life, no matter how small you are, you're able to make a contribution to God. No matter how much you have, you're still able to make a contribution. God wants each of us, no matter the age or anything. And can we please give it up for my lovely assistant? Thank you, Ms. Lauren. When we look at it and find out what is God wanting to do in our lives, a lot of times, we feel like I'm not big enough. Have you ever felt that way before, that I'm not big enough? Or I'm not, I don't have enough money? Or I don't know how to do things? But God is able to take the little bit, like he took Lauren's lunch, the little bit that she had, and multiplied it and shared it with everyone. Oh, we've got somebody that didn't get the lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and, okay. So, it was enough to feed everyone. 
And not only was it enough, it was more than enough. You see how it's going, Miss Lauren? It's just still going. It's like that was not going to ever end. The fish just keeps going. Oh, he didn't get any. Oh, how are you going to forget about pastor? <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't get any either. Did you get any? No. You mean we all ate her lunch and we didn't even give her any? Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. Here you go. All right. Oh, that's the mosquitoes trying to get out. <laughs> yeah, they in the jar. Yeah, they trying to get out, but it's okay. I haven't fed them in a long time. <laughs> Don't worry, Pastor. I'm not going to let them out in here. I'm not going to let the mosquitoes out in here. They're just part of my illustration that no matter how small. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Calm down. No. <laughs> I'm not sticking my hand back in there, Pastor. <laughs> Thank God for that. And Jesus, when he took the loaves and gave thanks and distributed to those who were seated as much as they wanted, he did the same with the fish. And when we look at that, we took up enough food Enough food was taken up, the, there was 12 baskets left over. Yes. Young people, I challenge you, don't worry about what's going on. Even his disciples was like, what are we going to do? We ain't got enough food. But the little child decided, Miss Lauren decided she's going to share her food with everyone. There's something to be said when we look at it and we realize that no matter what's going on in our lives, we all can make a contribution to the house of God. You know, there are some churches that um, we like to use the illustration that the people is just following Jesus because they wanted free food or because they can get healed. But no matter what they was following for, their need of being hungry was met. He was able to fill them. And it took the faith of a young child in Jesus to use a young child as an illustration that just a little yes, yes. is much. much. Just a little bit of the food is much. Just a little bit of faith is much. Yes, yes. Just a little bit of what it is inside of you needing to be taken care of is much in the hand of God. When you learn how to trust him with just a little, then he's able to do so much more. We sung a song earlier about being, things being big. God wants to be big in each of our lives. Mm -hmm. But all he's asking is just for a little from each of us. Yeah. He just wants to, us to come in with our hands and just say, Lord, this is what I have. I just have five loaves and two fish. Multiply it. Yes. I have this problem. I have that problem. Lord, I need you to help me in this situation. Miss Lauren, I want you to know that I appreciate you, you know, your eagerness to always want to come to Sunday school. It's a blessing to me. Yes. And, you know, you'll be amazed at the, the little ones, when they start wanting to come to church, it just does my heart good. And I just thank you for that. And I just thank you for helping me out. Because I remember a time that I didn't want to come to church, especially if I was going out on a Saturday, hanging out with my friends. I didn't want to come to church. My mom and dad would have to wake me up. It was like, hey, it's time for church. But just a little bit of you encouraging. I appreciate that, Miss Lauren. Thank you. People, I just want to thank God for just allowing him to use us today yes. to illustrate the fact that it doesn't matter what you have. Give it to him. No matter how much it is, give it to him today. And I thank you. God bless. Amen. 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 We thank God for that word. We trust that you've been encouraged on the line to know ordinary people, the song goes. God uses ordinary people. And little becomes much when we place it in the master's hand. And you may think that you only have a little bit to give to God, but uh, give it to him and watch it bless many. 
we certainly appreciate you joining us today, wherever you are in the world. And we pray that uh, something has been said today to encourage you in your faith to keep going, keep going strong. And like the song sang, or that the sister sang earlier today, give it to God and it's going to be big. God bless you. Keep living for Jesus and have an excellent, excellent day. God bless you.